on the side and then we're going to introduce the rest of the seasonings that we're going to need for the empanadas. I took my pan and I put it on medium high heat just to get it warmed up and I'm going to add a pound of ground beef. at this point. We're going to brown the meat just a little bit. And now we're going to start adding our seasoning. We'll be adding a tablespoon of oregano. Half a teaspoon of paprika. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder. A half a teaspoon of adobo. teaspoon of onion powder. I'm going to help go ahead and mix this up real quick for a second. You see all the flavors. Okay, and then I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of cumin. And just steam it out a little bit. Okay, make sure it wasn't too much. To get it really easy, a half a teaspoon of everything except a tablespoon of oregano. There's a half a teaspoon of salt. This is a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay. And then I'm going to put in a packet 
that it stays on. And then I'm going to go ahead and go get my onion and garlic, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to add the onion and garlic that we chopped up. I'm going to cook this for about three minutes. Smells good. You can smell all the ingredients together. As that's cooking for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my sauce. Okay, so I'm going to take a one third cup of tomato sauce, mix it in. This is on simmer now. And then I'm just going to let it simmer for about three minutes just to absorb the tomato sauce into the meat. And then I'm gonna put it aside into a bowl so then we can start making the empanadas. Okay, so the meat's done. I'm going to put it to the side here, and then I have empanadas. Okay. I'm going to take an empanada out. And now we're going to stuff the empanada. Okay, so you're going to take the meat mixture, put it in the empanada, like so. And then you can use the plastic to help guide it over, like this. Take your fingers and firmly close the empanada and then you're going to take a fork and you're going to push down on this side and then after you are done on that side you flip it over and you also do the other side as well. That seals your empanada, and that's what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of them and put some oil into the pan, and then we're going to get ready to fry these empanadas okay. up. Okay, I turn the heat on medium. 
I'm going to just put some light oil on the bottom. I'm using canola, but you can use vegetable oil, corn oil, whatever you, the choice that you want to use. So that oil is yours. And I'm going to just let it heat up a little bit. And then we're going to be putting these beautiful empanadas in. Um, I just wanted to add real quick that with the meat, especially depending on what type of meat and the fat that's used, um, you can see there's some oils at the bottom. What I'm going to do with this right now is I'm going to drain it because you don't want any of this to be in the empanada because then it's going to make it soft and it's, you know, it's not going to, um, it's not going to cook right and it's going to break. So make sure you drain your meat um, if you have some of this, like this little bit of excess oils and fats that are at the bottom. You want to make sure it's a little bit dry going on to the empanada when you close them. So I'll be right back to, with it when this oil heats up so we can start cooking okay. the empanada. So here's the empanada. We're putting the oil. Now remember, the meat is already cooked. So all you want to do is lightly brown both sides of the empanada. I have it on a medium heat. ready to be turned. Looking good. Okay, the lightly golden. I'll flip them again for the next time. I'll flip them one more time. But this is how you would want it to look all the way around on both sides. So I'm going to flip it one more time after I do this side. Okay, flip them. There we go. Few more minutes on the other side and these will be done. Okay. Here we go. The empanadas are done. If you like what you see here today, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.